In Northwest News, newly released surveillance video shows a violent confrontation on a Seattle bus last month. It shows passengers getting robbed at gunpoint. That is, until they decided to fight back and stop the suspect. KOMO's reporter, John Humbert, has more. In just a few seconds. It's the bus I take every day. Chris Briggs' commute home became unforgettable. Police say the man with the gun, and in this case, at the bottom of the pile, is 19-year-old Trevante Brown. Briggs says that's the man who robbed him just moments after pulling a gun on a woman and shortly before this scuffle. And then he came up to me and stuck the gun at me and took my phone. At first, Briggs said no. He jabbed me a little harder and said, don't make this harder than it has to be, so. The video shows the suspect moving farther up the bus and pulling the gun again. That's when passengers had enough. Briggs jumped into the fray, too, as horrified passengers scrambled to get off the bus. You know, people were kind of committed at that point. They held the man down until police arrived and took control of the scene, a quiet commute home that became something more, even if Briggs doesn't think he and his fellow passengers should be called heroes. No, I mean, it was just kind of one of those things that no one gave any thought to it once, once things started happening. Just days before Christmas, a thief allegedly hit a disabled veteran where it hurt the most, his memories. King 5's reporter Greg Copeland has the story. Carl Mulling is frustrated. I noticed the, the door was open. His garage door. Inside, some tools, artwork, sporting equipment. None of that was taken. It was over here. A duffel bag he saved with uniforms from his two tours in Iraq. I had a one type of every uniform that I had issued uh, when I was in the Army, and it was like my last bag of stuff. One of them a special issue to only his unit. Memories of his service, memories he's trying to hold on to. It's something that has affected his whole life is his service, and they took the only memorabilia he had from that service. During his second tour, Carl Stryker hit a mine. The blast blew off the front wheel. He suffered a massive concussion and some permanent brain damage. Yeah, his short-term memory gets worse daily. Wife Marie says he cherished the military mementos and some artwork from high school cut from the frame. The things that they stole are things that actually mean something to him, and a lot of possessions don't mean anything to him. And it's not just what the thief took, but what he left for Carl. A note scribbled in Sharpie on the garage door. Among the gibberish, words of thanks for his service, OIF, a possible mention of Operation Iraqi Freedom, and a thanks. Well, this is a fact they had the audacity to, to sign their work. Carl, not exactly in the giving mood this Christmas, after being taken. In Puyallup, Greg Copeland, King 5 News. And that's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.